Okay, so we're still busy with our goods market model, and we are looking at how you can use fiscal policy to increase the level of output to the level of full employment. And we have seen that if you use government spending, you increase government spending by 200, the other multiply effect, you get your increase of 1,000 to 6,900. What we're going to do now is to look at taxation. And what you need to do here is to decrease your taxes. Let's see what happens if I decrease taxes in this model. Now remember that in this model, taxation is an autonomous variable. It's not a function of the level of output. It's a fixed amount, regardless of what is the level of output. So let's decrease taxes. A decrease in taxes leads to an increase in disposable income of households. Households then react to this by increasing their consumption spending, which then increase their demand for goods and the level of output increases. The question now is, by how much should I decrease taxes? <clears throat> now, we're going to try to do it by, let's say we decrease it by 200. If I decrease taxes by 200, then my disposable income increases by 200. Now, the question is, by how much will consumption increase in this route? And the issue is, it's not going to be by 200, but less than 200 because of the marginal propensity to consume. So the increase in consumption is now 0.8 times 200 equals 160. Now it is from this level that the multiplier starts to operate. And our multiplier is 5, so eventually you end up with an inc increase in income of 800 and not 1,000 as in the case of government spending, and it's due to the way households behave. So by how much should I increase my taxes? Well, what we want is that the change in C times taxes should be equal to 200. This is the change you want here, is a change of 200. We know C, small c is equal to 0 0.8 times T must be equal to 200. So now it follows that T is equal to 200 divided by 0 0.8 equals 250. So the increase in taxation should be, or the decrease in taxation should be 250. That gives you then the increase of 1,000 here. In other words, this is C times 250. Now, what happens to your budget deficit? Well, if you look at your budget, it used to be the 400 of taxes 400 minus 500 gives you minus 100. Now you decrease your taxes with 250. So your, your tax income is minus 250. So you are left with 150 minus 500 equals minus 350. So you can see in this case, your budget deficit increases to minus 350, whereas in the case of government spending, it is 300.